Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much on this good Monday. I always feel weird saying what day it is because obviously the lifespan continues. So it could be Tuesday, Wednesday. I mean, this video is not going up till tomorrow. So, Oof. all right. So that was a swing and a miss. Okay. So happy Tuesday or whichever day it is that you're watching this. A week later, maybe it actually is Monday and that works. And you're like, wow, this guy has like incredible foresight. Uh, buckets, how often do we upload a new video? Almost every single day. Almost every single day. So if you love sneakers, you have come to the right place. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson right there. Oh, I forgot to mention the reason we do the whole almost every day spiel is because we want you to subscribe to the channel. So you don't miss said almost every day sneaker videos there you go and if you enjoy today's sneaker video please hit that thumbs up really does go a long way helps us rank highly in the youtube algorithm and we appreciate that because that's how the channel grows so without further ado three two one bang bang this is the air jordan 5 raging bull just released and retail was 190 bucks. Shouts to our friends over at Kicks Are For Us, a local resale shop down here in Tampa, Florida. They threw us the alley-oop on this pair. Special thanks to my guy, Danny. Definitely appreciate it. This is a pair that I have wanted for a very long time. I know a lot of us have felt that way. A lot of Jordan fans have been waiting on this colorway. Buckets, I'm sure you probably saw this. I see people calling them the Toro Bravo, but obviously we refer to them as the Raging Bulls. Yes. They originally released in 2009, and here we are 12 years later. They are back in all their glory, or maybe in a little bit of their glory. Right off the bat, I do gotta say, they are not as good as the original pair. Now, I no longer have an original pair, but I'm happy to have them back regardless. I do feel the quality and the craftsmanship is lacking a little bit, but it's such a dope colorway, it probably won't matter to most. I also feel, again, I'm just going off memory here, I feel like this red, or this shade, I should say, is a little bit lighter than the original version. But you know, when we see sneakers come back, quite often that's the case. The colors are tweaked a little bit, the materials are tweaked a little bit, and that's kind of just the way it goes. I still very much appreciate these. I was actually surprised to see that resale prices weren't too bad at all, especially right after they released this past weekend. Pairs were going for somewhere in the $200 range, which isn't that much over retail, 190 bucks, and now they've climbed up into the $300 range for most sizes. Either way, here they are. Bright red suede on pretty much the entire sneaker. Again, the quality is not gonna blow you away, but that red, it really does pop very nicely. You got the 3M tongue, which I absolutely love. Bling bling with the phone flash, always a nice touch. Jumpman embroidered in, as you can see. Clear lace lock with the red hit clear netting on the sides, 23 towards the back, and it kind of has that 3D vibe to it. Jumpman on the heel, Air Jordan on the back of the tongue, black midsole with the white and red fighter jet teeth, 
such a small detail to me but it really makes the whole sneaker in my opinion or it makes the whole sneaker a lot better i absolutely love this feature on the jordan 5 in general the fighter jet teeth call them whatever you want to call them i dig how it looks but i really dig how it looks with this white and red you got the red laces as you can see and they capped things off with a pretty standard outsole translucent with black and the red jump man underneath This is a great sneaker as far as Jordan retros go. And although it's not an OG colorway or anything like that, I do think it's reached semi-classic status. But because we were talking recently in a video, what's that tier right under classic? And I guess we didn't come up with anything but semi-classic. No, I said not quite a classic. Not quite a classic. And then you hyphenate it, right? Yeah. Not hyphen, quite. Hyphen. Are these not quite a classic? I think a lot of people would put them there. Yeah, I feel like just a lot of Jordan retro fans have these. I've heard plenty of people say that this is their favorite Jordan of all time. It's their favorite Jordan 5 of all time. I know people really, really dig this colorway, and I like them a lot. They're not my favorite Jordan of all time, but they're up there, especially for Jordan 5s. I'm gonna give these a nine out of 10. I think it's a pair that I'm gonna wear a ton, even if not until the fall. I'm not, this is just a side note, I'm not a huge Jordan 5 guy during the summer for whatever reason, but these are going to be the perfect fall sneaker for your boy. I've said this before, I really dig the Jordan 5 in general, and I love that we're seeing Jordan and other brands kind of dig in the vault a little bit and bring back some of the really sought after stuff. Nike recently released one of my all time favorite sneakers. If you tune in regularly, I'm sure you saw that, the Bacon Air Max. And I know these are, for a lot of people, what those are for me. And so I think it's cool to see. Bucket, so I, I went nine out of 10 and then gave a little long winded spiel there. Uh, I've said spiel like three times in this video, which is probably two times too many. Too many spiels. Too many spiels. Scale of one to 10, how are we looking? Six and a half. Six and a half. Okay, that, that's pretty bad. I mean, that's just what it is. Six and a half. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it can be, you can say that's bad. That's just my opinion. That's a bad. So you don't like the Raging Bull? No, not really. Really? Yeah. You're not an all red guy? Uh, I like some all red sneakers, I think, but I'm not huge on these. The raging bull so it originally released as a part of the defining moments pack right yeah and i feel like i feel like they were sought after when they released and you know back in 2009 but i feel like remember when the all red sneaker craze was a thing was that like maybe 2012 it was like the red october it's the red october was like the height of that what kicked that off i want to say without looking at a calendar here i'm not looking at a sundial but i think 2012 to 2014 is when the Raging Bull really, especially because they had been out already for a few years, so they were kind of hard to find and kind of hard to get, and that's where they started turning into that not quite a classic. See what my fingers are doing right now? Yeah, yeah. Edit in some, like, wizardry noises. No. Ad-libs. No. Okay. All right. Uh, so you win six and a half. That's a really bad take. Uh, I like my score of nine much better. Leave a comment below. Let us know how you feel. What are your thoughts on this colorway? What are your thoughts on the Jordan 5? How do you feel about this pair versus the 2009 pair? I know a lot of you probably have both pairs at this point. So leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else buckets. Anything from you? No. I'm never leaving. Name that movie. That's Wolf of Wall Street, but we are leaving. Oh, yeah, we are. Well, that would no, that was the whole thing. And then I'm going to stay here. You know what? Give me another sneaker. Toss me a sneaker. I'll do another one. No, no. We got to get out of here. A double header, if you will. Adios. Adios.